Hello everyone and welcome. Um, today we're going to go over the plan for the Sorcerer NG plus four. Um, we've had some issues with our previous runs on the Sorcerer. We've been trying different things. So we're going to follow the critical build a little closer, the critical build with combo. Uh, the last attempt, I tried to do a uh, critical build no combo and see if the damage was high enough, but it, it didn't feel good enough. Um, we did end up making it all the way to Thundermall, but we were very slow to get there, and we ended up dying on the fight, just being out of position when he uh, did a breath. So it's not impossible to... Um, it's not impossible to beat it with that build, it just didn't feel like the damage was quite there, so it took a long time. But, kind of go over everything. Hit uh, level 40 on that run, so we have all of our skills, max rank of all of our skills. Uh, I'll show you what we attuned. Our current chapel setup is... Uh, Path of the Magician for more damage. Uh, ideally later we're going to swap to Blessing of Intellect, but now we're currently using Blessing of the Mind. Uh, basically because as we increase the NG level, we'll be able to have the same mana regen that we have now. Uh, so we won't need to double it. So currently we have 16.8 or 8.4. So at some point, our NG will be high enough to where we'll have 14, 15, and we won't need this amount of mana regen. We won't need, you know, 32, 40 mana regen. So we'll take this extra damage, and then we'll still get the symbol of wisdom. So as we go higher in NGs, we'll eventually switch to these three, but we're currently using Blessing of the Mind to get around it. Uh, we have all of our wizard upgrades our blacksmith upgrades, our apothecary upgrades, and let's show you the anvil. This build is going to be slightly different than the build I was using for NG plus one. So it's just another one of those things. As you go higher, uh, things get more strict and you get more pigeonholed into what builds actually work. So a couple things attuned here. Amulet of Kings. Uh, I did this one recently. I just I have a lot of struggle in Act 4 especially usually with my resistance being low, so I wanted to get Amulet of Kings knocked out. Um, we also have Amulet of Vengeance. This is going to be kind of one of the core pieces of this build, is trying to have this combo up as much as possible, because this will be another combo-centric build. Um, other items, we have Scepter of Kings for more skill power, Staff of Volatile Casting. This will be another core item of the build, because we're going to be scaling crit and crit bonus, along with keeping ourselves in combo as much as possible to get the maximum amount of damage we could possibly get. Uh, other things to note, we have Ring of Transmutation. This is going to be a required item as well. Uh, we did Robe of the Arch Magi because the hybrid items are just really good with the skill power and the resist. We did Wand of Spell Piercing. Uh, half our damage is magic, the other half is uh, physical. So Stinger would also be good to do, and potentially we should have done Stinger instead, because technically that would be ignores 40% of the enemy's armor, where this is ignores 30% of the enemy's resistance. Um, the argument against why the wand is attuned here and the Stinger isn't is because the drink we use is uh, Incinerary Demise, which gives us magical damage on our primary attack, so technically we'll have more magic damage than physical damage, but we still want to do Stinger soon just to get even more damage. Uh, but it's kind of a toss-up. I would say they're probably about even with the drink setup we're using. Uh, we also have... I believe we also have the evasion items. Yeah, we have the evasion items done as well. You could opt for more skill power or maybe more regen or... Uh, something along those lines. 
Gladiator's Net's always nice, and Blackjack's nice. I plan on getting those sometime soon. I usually like to do uh, the core items, which are just Ring of Transmutation, Amulet of Vengeance, and Staff of Auto Casting first. So I'd say those three are the most core. After that, you probably should get the crit from Staff of Unstable Casting. Uh, I haven't done this yet, it's just another thing on the list. The next five levels, when I complete this NG, will go to completing some of these green items. So we basically have all the blues we need done. Uh, so usually after I get the core items done, I do the Defensive Kings, or in this case I did the Resist Kings and the Skill Power Kings. Because uh, a lot of the what we're doing is we're just manually avoiding everything and doing enough damage to where the fight doesn't drag on so we don't have to worry about taking a lot of damage. Um, from there I usually try to get the Trickster set. Uh, Evasion is just a really good stat and then things like Curio's Case, Stun Items, uh, Hybrid Items, Penetration Items, get those next. Uh, but really it's, it's up to you, it depends what you feel like your build is lacking, what you want to do first, but that's like a general outline of what you want to do. Uh, so just core items, then I'd say your useful king's items, and then after that you either go tricksters or you go kind of all-purpose items like the stun, uh, penetration items, and uh, the curios. Alright, so I think we've basically gone over everything. We'll get our drinks in a second. We'll go ahead and say what we're looking for in the shop. So this is another Ring of Transmutation build. We're not going to be taking as much damage, but if we get cornered, we want to be able to get our mana back. And just really, all the mana regen, all the skill cost reduction that we can possibly get is just going to make us go a lot further. Because the damage we take will be converted to mana, the mana we get will be converted into damage by us using our spells, and then that damage will be converted into life through the life leech. So that's how we're going to basically sustain this build. Uh, so we're looking for Ring of Tea here, and then one of the useful blue items. Uh, in this case, it's going to be Mage Bane, uh, or Shield Breaker, they're roughly even, Staff of Volatile Casting, or Amulet of Vengeance. There's potential for Scepter of Kings, but ideally we'd like to start off with Ring of T, Amulet of Vengeance, and uh, Staff of Unstable Casting. So if we can start off with those three items, we're going to be in the best case scenario. So let's see what we can get. So there's Ring of T, there's Amulet. our staff. Just looking for any two of those items. Bring up T. Bring up T again. There's a staff in the robe. I like it, but we really need the ring. There's the ring. May take a little while. Let's see.
Now we're not seeing the ring at all. All right, so there's the ring, but not our blue item. Found a lot of the rope plus staff or amulet. We just need the ring. So, ring, staff of auto casting, or amulet of vengeance. We have the option of ring plus scepter here, but I don't think it's worth it. These other three items basically don't do anything, uh, so we gotta keep going. Yeah, it's getting tiring to uh, <laughs> re-roll on this constantly. the ring scepter. Uh. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about where as the NGs go higher, you gotta get more and more strict. So we're gonna farm more ore later. Which is alright. So what's there for? Ring Markham's Mace. Ring Cape of the Flame Walker.
There we go. Alright. So it took us a while. But we found our setup. So what we're looking for was Amulet of Vengeance, Ring of Transmutation. These uh, spheres of mana won't hurt either since we're relying on being in combo all the time. Alright, so... About 12... 15... And 15... And we're gonna craft the... Staff of Auto Casting. Alright, so this is the three items we wanted to start with. Bringing our skill crit chance to 31% with 300 skill crit damage. And we're going to scale that even higher with drinks. So, looking at the the drinks, we're going the combo variant. So, we'll go in Leech, Incendiary Demise, and Wicked Sickness. That's what we do for combo. And then we're going to do... 15% chance to score critical and 100% chance or 100% critical damage with skills. So that's going to bring us up to 400 crit damage and 41.5% crit with our leech and our combo. So in our fountain, we're going to do our normal setup. We may actually add in monoliths. Let's see what we have to work with. We have no ore, enemy overseers, we may go agile. And with that we can add in either monoliths or consumables. Hmm. I kind of like consumables on the sorcerer, but we shouldn't really need it. gonna take it. It's something I wanted to try out. Let's see, can we add anything else? If we can add monoliths, that would be pretty excellent as well. Um, so we already have Agile and Overseers and No War. I don't think we have a way we can add it. So let's take that off. is it if we try to leave too expensive all right so it looks like we can go this route general traps toggle towers safe corridors exceptional consumables glass walk treasure hunt with more enemies more mini bosses no ore and faster monsters throw the rest in the fountain and we're ready to begin.